What's good everyone? I am the Mouth for the South. We're back here today with another reaction video and Immortal Disfigurement have just dropped a brand new album entitled King and I have been reacting to every single track that has come out. Uh, I've even re-listened to uh, some of the old tracks because I theorized that some of them may be slightly different and it turns out they fucking were. Now, um, chances are you may see this video before any of the others because I'm not doing this in chronological... Well, I'm not uploading this in chronological order. At this point, I've listened to every song on the album. And I'm doing my absolute best to not give away any spoilers or my thoughts or opinions or anything so far. All I'm going to say is I think this album is a fucking masterpiece. But I've been told from reliable sources that this song is, is different. And so there's a chance that you may be seeing this one first just because of views, basically. Um, that, that's it. I'm, I, I, what more do you want from me? But I will try and keep the rest of it uh, fairly regular. Um, as I say, I'm not going to say anything about what I think about the album. You can save it all for the other reaction videos that are going to come out. Um, but I think this album is fucking amazing so far. With that in mind, we are moving on to our closing track, Forevermore. I believe it is the longest song on the entire album, clocking in at just under 7 minutes, 6.45 to be exact. I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I wonder if we're just going to get like a pure heavy disgust fest or like is it going to be a little more... Uh, I hate to compare to Lord of Shore, but are we going to get more like Pain Remains or um, Relentless Torment? You know, more of like an emotional closer. Because this album has had its fair share of like emotional beats, but has also just been angry. So uh, we, we'll fucking see. We'll, we'll see. With that in mind, we are going to stay hydrated. And tell you about my brand new band, Skin Hunter! Ah, gotcha, you didn't think it was going to be there. So yeah, I have dropped a brand new hardcore deathcore project called Skin Hunter. We have one song at, out at the moment called Where We Buried the Bodies. It is pretty good. It's out on Spotify, official lyric video up on my channel, all that kind of stuff. But we have a brand new song coming to you very, very soon. Sooner than you may think. Uh... I'm, I'm very excited, very proud of what, what we're doing currently. And uh, it, th this new song is, is uh, in my opinion, a huge step up from what we did with Where We Buried the Bodies. So if you're a fan of Knocked Loose, Whitechapel, Left to Suffer, Pale Face, Early Slipknot, just some heavy, slammy, riffy shit, uh, please go check out Skin Hunter. That would be much appreciated. But you came here for Immortal Disfigurement. Let's get into this. This is Immortal Disfigurement. The closing track to King Forevermore. Are you ready? I'm not! Let's fucking go! Oh, okay, maybe we are getting emotional. Okay. That piano! That's very nice. Okay. Is that a trend pick? That's very nice. Oh, I love that riff. Oh, yeah. I 
can hear the bass! This is sick! This is fucking sick! Oi! Jay's highs on this. Oh, break down. Getting emotional with it. Okay. Okay. Big epic chorus or breakdown? Big epic chorus. I'm here for it. Oh, I'm so here for it. That's very nice. This is, bro, this is sick. Eternal rain. Oh! It's getting heavy, boys. Just letting the music speak. I love it. There it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. I love that piano riff! The use of symphonic elements on this entire album has been fantastic. Some of the best I've heard outside of Synesthesia and Disembodied Tyrant. We'll get onto it. Yes! Oh, are we fading? No, I wanted more. I wanted more. We'll let. Oh. What? I thought we were done. It's the same track. It is. What? What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck is going on? Metronome. Oh, 
I'm sorry? What the fuck just happened, bruv? What the fuck just happened, bruv? Bruv! What? 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 I need someone to explain to me what the fuck just happened. Because that's what just happened. What just happened? What just happened? We were having a lovely, melancholic end to a, a, a fantastic album. We we were and letting the music fade. We were letting the symphony play us out. It was beautiful. And then you got like a little kind of come in, and then we were dead. And then everybody died. And fucking hell, fucking hell. Yeah, it's Immortal Disfigurement. You're not going to fucking forget that anytime soon, are you? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That was insane. That was madness. Madness. Like, firstly, let's talk about how ballsy that is to have a super melancholic, tragic, emotional song. Uh, at the end of this album, which, you know, is a, a wonderful encapsulation of everything the album has been. It's, it's you know, beautiful send-off to an amazing fucking album. And then! And then they just throw in, and then! And ex expect us just to be okay with that? And you know what? I am. That was fucking awesome. I love the pure, unbridled rage that you got at the end with CJ just screaming, fuck. That's, that's awesome. That's really, really fucking cool. <clears throat> Skin Hunter. Yeah. Uh, that was, that was fucking madness. Like with the metronome clicking in the background as well. That was very well done. I like that. That was a nice little detail as well. The guitar solo, the, the, the songwriting elements in this were fantastic. As I've said, some of the best symphonic elements I've ever heard in, like, Black and Deathcore have now come from Immortal Disfigurement. Like, uh, Lorna Shaw and Worm Shepherd always did them fairly well. Then Synesthesia and Disembodied Tyrant came out and was just like, no, 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 this is how you do it. And uh, Mental Cruelty, they also did it pretty well, uh, especially on A Hill to Die Upon. Um, and then the day, Immortal Disfigurement are just, like, up in it. And just up their game a little bit. No? Like, there's some of the best symphonic elements I've ever heard have come from this album. Like, Shadow of Intent levels of of use of symphony and stuff is really, really well done. Stupidly well done. Like, I take my hat off. Fucking well done. Very well done. Uh, CJ's vocals, of course, monstrous, gross, disgusting. But also, I love how much he's able to carry the melody in the song. That, that chorus um, had me thinking back to Immortal, uh, just with how he's like stretching out the words and it was just very, very good. Very fucking good, man. And yeah, overall, like, I, this, this album was a fucking masterpiece. It was truly something next level, like, considering all, all the problems that the band had and like, members joining members leaving controversy over this that and the other and the fact they've still managed to put out an album this good as like the final product is commendable to say the least like the say what you want about the band they went through some fucking adversity to get this album out and they produced an absolute banger of an album to go with it so like I don't know how you can't not like this. This is just fan fantastic, and I, I I think this this is truly one of the best deathcore albums I've heard in a very long time. This is very 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 fucking good. I will let my reactions to everything else speak for each individual song, but in terms of like favorite songs off of the album, Forevermore is definitely up there. King as well is, I love the kind of remastered version of it. I thought that was very cool. 
There Is No Light has actually come back up as like a bit of a banger for me. But like the best songs, without a doubt, are some of the new songs that we've never heard before. Um, Painless Execution, Into the Fog Isolation, 100% is one of the best songs ever. Um, Home Out of Hell, Sacrificial Submission, Forevermore. This album is just full of fucking bangers. And it is deathcore, black and deathcore at its absolute best. Some amazing songwriting. Um, some amazing drum work, amazing guitar work, amazing bass lines, and some of the best vocals you'll ever hear because they're being performed by a goated fucking vocalist at this point. This album is fucking phenomenal. And for the for the people who are just not going to listen to this because CJ is attached or whatever, like loyalties to Lorna or fucking whatever, like... You're depriving yourself of a masterpiece of an album, and I strongly recommend you just put your grievances aside and just listen to the music and let the music speak, because this music fucking speaks. It's fantastic. And I'm not throwing shade on Lorna or any of those other bands. I love all those other bands as well. I'm just saying, like, this album is fucking fantastic, and, like, yeah. Yeah. Every every person who worked on this, every sound guy, every producer, every songwriter, like every member of the band, uh, the guy who made the artwork, all of that kind of stuff. Anyone who has had anything to do with the making of this album should be very fucking proud. Because <laughs> this is an immense project. And I know we've just got this. I already cannot wait for what's next. I think that says it all. Anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. Just naughty things in the comments down below. Please go check out Skin Hunter. We have a new track coming very, very soon for you all. Uh, let me know what you thought of the album. Let me know what you think of Forevermore. Let me know what you think of me. And other than that, you've been wonderful people. I have been the mouth of the South. And as always, you guys are the real motherfucking heroes. I am out of here, y'all!